Fungus vulgaris and bullus pemphigoid are two rare autoimmune blistering conditions of the skin. When you think about differentiating them, age at presentation, histology, blister features, distribution and symptoms, first line treatment and mortality are all important. Pemphigus vulgaris is a chronic condition that tends to present age 40 to 60. Histology will show intraepidermal blisters, but the blisters may be flaccid upon examination. The blisters are most commonly found in the oral mucosa, but can appear anywhere on the skin or on mucosal epithelium. The most primary symptom is that of pain with these blisters, and the first line treatment is oral steroids. Pemphigus vulgaris is a very serious condition. Up to 10 to 15% of those with pemphigus vulgaris may die from complications such as superimposed infection and fluid loss. Now, bullous pemphigoid is more a disease of the elderly. The histology may show sub-epidermal blisters, but they may be tense upon examination. The blisters are most commonly found in the flexor surfaces or on the abdomen, and the most primary symptom is that of itchiness. First line treatment in bullous pemphigoid is oral or topical steroids, and there's not really a mortality association with bullous pemphigoid. It's generally a self-limiting condition.